Welcome back to The Big Idea. Tonight, it's one of the best combinations on Earth, young and rich, and we're talking very young and very rich. Our next whiz kid is Ephraim Taylor. He did something I can't even imagine. Get this. He figured out how to program video games from scratch when he was in the eighth grade. Now he's CEO of two publicly traded companies, Amora Corp and City Capital Corporation. Ephraim Taylor. How you doing, man? Hey, how's it going, Don? Okay, the youngest African-American CEO of, publicly, of a publicly traded company, the CEO of two. You sell a business in high school for or a business that's worth three million bucks. <laughs> Take me to third grade. What the hell's going on with you? <laughs> third grade. Ah, man. Third grade was a very, very interesting grade and experience. Don't remember too much of it. Um, but on the playground, I was always one of those guys, whether it's pencils, erasers, drawings, I was selling it on the playground, that kind of... Where did that come from? Where does, you know, that's not, a, that's what I'm trying to get to with tonight's show, because it's not a natural tendency for a young kid. A young kid usually wants to play, mm -hmm. indulge themselves, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get from you guys, because it's fascinating, and I think there's a great lesson out there for everybody, that where did that come from? Was it because you wanted to live better than you were living? What, what, what was the motivation? Well, I, I think a lot of the motivation was, especially with uh, my mother and father and the household that I came out of, was is that it was always instilled in me that you can accomplish anything, anything you set your mind to. And I remember times sitting at the kitchen table, my mom was always giving me a hard time before it, me or any of my brothers even started school that we were able to read, write, not only in print, but also in cursive uh, before we went to school. But it was just that discipline that was instilled in us to uh, kind of achieve. But, you know, were your parents professionals? Um, or were they, did they want a better life for you guys? Than, than they definitely they wanted a better life for us. My dad was an electrical engineer for right. nuclear power plants. Okay. Uh, my mom, when, when I was born, she actually stopped working, was a stay-at-home mother, which uh -huh. helped out tremendously. Uh, but just having that mom at home, also just instilling so much into us um, as we begin to grow up. And they really kind of taught you the lesson, hey, if you want to do it yourself, you want an expensive video game when you were 12, and your mom said... Way too much money, you want one, make it yourself. Uh, you know what, that's exactly what they said. You know, games back then, you know, in my generation with the Sega and Nintendo coming out, they were $40, $50 a pop, still are. And that starts to add up, so I was always the kid on the block that had the system and maybe three games, the two that came with it, and then one extra that you had. And so you're always borrowing and trading games, and so parents were like, hey, why don't you go figure out how to make your own? So, you know, read a couple books, spent a lot of time on the computer. We didn't even have one at the house. And so I was always studying and uh, practicing on the computers at school, made a video game. So what was the first business? Uh, the first business we actually came out with at a software development company that started doing, you know, hiring the websites and started owning our own materials as well. And then we came out with a job search engine for high school and college students because one of the things that I noticed was a need was is that high school and college students, when you go look for a job, you know, you either get a referral, you can't look in the paper because you don't have a four-year degree, you don't have all these years of experience. So we created this job search engine and, um, you know, started convincing employers to actually pay us to put jobs on their website. Um, and then number of students started hitting, you know, we got a lot of great press from it, uh, which caused like 30,000 students to sign up and register on the site. We had employers like Walmart, Target, Air National Guard, Citigroup, and it just kind of grew from there and took a life of its own, and we got funded while we were in high school. How are you, you're in high school, you're going to classes, you're playing sports, you're doing what you do. How are you doing both? I mean, you're working, you're building a business that, that you know, basically was a $3.2 million company while you were in high school. How mm -hmm. the hell are you doing all this? Well, you know, I definitely was an athlete. I'm glad you brought that up okay. so I can clear the air on that one. You were or you weren't? <laughs> I were, was an athlete, okay. yeah. Played was. football. Okay, because I was going to assume, all right, this is a kid. He wasn't such a great athlete. <laughs> he couldn't do, you know, so that was the motivation. And so you were an athlete. So yeah. you, here you are, you're a jock. Yeah, I was obviously good. a personable guy. You, I was good. Yeah, I was good. I, I, I could have been a professional football player. I didn't have to be a business titan. Yeah. So that's even, I, I, it makes my question even more relevant. So how are you doing all this? Well, you know, in the football thing, you know, I developed a case of scoliosis. So, you know, can't play football anymore. Right. So stayed time on the computer. And, you know, it's kind of a balance. And, you know, school, I will admit, took a sacrifice and a hit. Uh, because of that, I was, wasn't at the top of my class, you know, kind of came like out of the GPA great, system. Like a lot of great entrepreneurs. Yeah, friendly. so I caught right. that flack as well. But, you know, some of the counselors there at the high school saw that we kind of had a gift. And so they let me out of school every day at 1130. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Efren Taylor running two public companies now, a guy doing it all at the ripe old age of 24. Once again, starting a business at 12. You can do it at any age. Good for you, man. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Speaking Deutsch is next. Don't go anywhere.